This is a $17 plane ticket, but I have no idea where it's gonna take me. See, there's a website called Skyscanner that lets you set your destination to anywhere and it lets you filter by lowest price possible. So I asked my friend Leroy to buy me 14 tickets for the next 14 days to see where I end up without telling me anything. I went from Amsterdam to Dublin, then Paris, Marrakesh, Milan, London, Stockholm, Oslo, and now I'm in Barcelona. So let's find out where the heck I'm going next. The flight leaves at 8.20 and the flight number is FR777. FR777. Wait, what? Venetia, that's, that is Venice, right? Yep. Oh my God, I did not expect to go to Venice. That is beautiful though, what? I actually thought because the plane ticket was only $17, that it was gonna be somewhere here in Spain, like Malaga or Madrid, something like that, or maybe Portugal, but Venice. <laughs> Yo, I am excited. I have always wanted to go to Venice. I cannot wait to be on one of those little boats. This is gonna be a fun day. Welcome to Venice everyone, we're back in Italy. I was in Milan for a very short time, like that wasn't scheduled that well, but I am so excited to be back in Italy right now. The coffee here is amazing. Obviously we don't even have to mention the food, in my opinion the best food in the freaking world. So I cannot wait to explore, but I also gotta complete a challenge before I fly out here tomorrow again. So let's find out what it is. Let's find out my challenge. Hello, hello, sir. It's me, Kevin, and you're Kev. in Venice right now. I'm kind of jealous I want to be in Venice too, but I'm here to deliver your next challenge and you have to make, cook and eat spaghetti with a local Italian grandma and I'm also jealous for that. But no cheating. You can't go to any restaurants. You gotta do it with an actual grandma. So good luck. What? I Yo, that is a dope challenge. Of course, Kevin Cook is gonna give me that. He's my favorite internet chef. Gotta love Kevin, he's a good friend of mine. Here's an old photo of me and Kevin together a couple years ago. But damn, that is such a life goal. Cooking pasta in Venice with an old Italian grandmother. Obviously, there will be a couple challenges with that, like the language. I don't speak a single word of Italian, apart from like, grazie. I gotta temper my excitement a little bit because usually I get way too excited at the start before I do these challenges and then they turned out to be a lot more difficult but that is so dope okay I, i'm excited for that I, I really am it is exactly 2 p.m right now i am leaving my hotel room once again hello how's it going do you know anyone here in venice like an elderly lady who would be interested in doing that with me no, you don't know anyone? No, no, no. No? No, sorry. Pasta. Si? Are you Italian? No, no we're, we're Spanish. Spanish. Does your mother live here in Venice? Do you have any Italian grandmas? Eh, no, no, tempo, pero mi dispiace. Would you be down to make pasta with me? <laughs> I'm, I'm working now and. You don't want to? Okay. Grazie. If you can give me your Insta or number, I can find you someone. What, for real? Yeah, I do. No, wait, are, are you from Venice? No, I'm from Istanbul. Oh, you're from Istanbul. Yeah. Oh shit, but you, like, do you have family here or like- No, or, like, I study a... here, I come from Scotty. No way, that is okay. Yeah, of course, I'll give you my Instagram. Yeah, What's your name? Arda. Okay, bye bye. I'll lift you up. Okay, thank yeah. you, man. I appreciate bye. it. I got a lead. Arda from Istanbul. Oh my God. Just imagine if he would be my plug and would actually be able to find me someone. That'd be so nice. Ah. The search continues. All right, I have made it to Giuseppe Garibaldi. I think that's how you should pronounce it. This definitely feels a lot less touristy and I'm mainly hearing Italians. Okay, I've seen a grandmother right there. I, don't, I didn't really feel like approaching her just yet. I gotta warm up a little bit. Also, Arda, the guy is being extremely nice, just keeps on messaging me. We can manage this sort up. No problem, I'm coming in. Okay, this is the most random thing ever, but I definitely think that this also shows that 
you should definitely just approach random people. You never know who's gonna help you out and who's down to do these type of things. Shout out to Arda, guys. I feel like we should all type that in the comments. Shout out to Arda right now. I'm standing in front of a place right now and I see a bunch of locals. This looks very, very nice. I feel like I should have a little drink here, wait for Arna, maybe see if I can get some leads and also enjoy some food. This looks incredible, wow. Okay, yeah, tell me what are uh, what are your specialties? The first six. The first six? Yeah. Sardine in sour. Yeah. Maybe octopus. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and uh, king prawn is sour. Thank you so much. Thank you. I haven't eaten in way too long and I think I'm gonna start off with this one. The anchovies is really good. Oh yeah, I'm loving Venice right now. So Arda made it here, we're ready. We're in the most local part of Venice that we could possibly find. And now, brother, it's just time to approach some grandmas. Yes, <laughs> you're in the hunt for grandmas. I mean, it's gonna be hot, but Eventually, we have to find one. Cosa che ti interesserebbe? Eh, no. <laughs> no. No, no, thank you. It feels so weird. Usually, at our age, we're looking for pretty girls. Now we're looking for grandmas, <laughs> actually. <laughs> oh, look, there's a grandmother up there. That sounds so freaking weird to say. Buongiorno. Do you speak English? She <laughs> left. <laughs> she was not interested. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You don't friend. want to? Uh, don't no, want excuse to? me. Oh, Come on, Kevin, why did you have to make it so hard on me right now? I can't lose hope, we gotta keep <laughs> on going. But it's getting dark, I feel like like I'm freaking almost two meters, like I'm 6'5". For me to approach people in the dark, <laughs> it's just yes. like, hello, you wanna cook me pasta? Nothing. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. It's fine, don't worry yeah. about it. <sighs> We're getting here. We're getting closer. I can yeah, feel yeah. it, guys. We gotta stay positive, for real. Are these people? The... Ciao. Ciao. Hola. Ciao. Hi, you speak English? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, yeah. amazing. We no? can't. We have too little well, baby. Too little I'm guys. sorry. Oh, okay. Wait, you live here in Venice? Yeah. yeah. Really Are here. you guys Italian? Yeah. Oh my I'm god. I'm a gondolier. For 14 days straight, I'm taking the cheapest flight every single day to see okay. where I end up. It is a challenge. So this morning I was in Barcelona uh -huh. and this is my boarding pass. Yeah. So I don't see the destination. All I have is the flight number. So I go up to a board to be like, all right, <laughs> FR777. Okay. And then I realized I'm uh, going to Venice wow. today. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice. How many days you are here? Only one. So tomorrow morning at yeah, nine o'clock, I fly to another city. It's oh, okay. every day that I'm traveling. Oh, okay. So it's super every day. Okay. Wow. Every day. Dai, come with me then. Come with you. Oh, <laughs> yes. No, wait, wait. What is your name, by the way? Chiara and Tommaso. Chiara, Chris. It is so nice meeting you. Hey, man. Hi. Tommaso. Nice to meet you. Tommaso? Tommaso. Tommy. Toma okay, Tommy and okay, Chiara. Tommy and Chiara. Okay, Chris. Oh nice my god, it is lovely meeting you guys too. That is so <laughs> incredibly nice that you are willing to let me enter your home. And this is exactly why you just gotta stay positive. You don't focus on the people who tell you no. You should just have faith that you'll meet nice people like Tommy and Chiara. Yeah, I am a gondola driver. Uh, I started my journey as a gondola driver 15 years ago. Like the gondola is, are like the black boats, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. then. The gondola is the boat of Venice. The boat of Venice. <laughs> the boat. Oh, this is so good, but I kind of have to get going to my job back. I understand, bro. Yeah. Honestly, thank you so much, bro. I really Lovers. appreciate it. You're yeah. a freaking legend. I'll shoot you a message. And if I go to yeah. Istanbul, I would love to uh, definitely. Let's link definitely up. meet some of your yeah. friends or whatever. Tommy and okay, okay. I will work. Thank you. Bye bye. So, guys, just to be clear for a second, we are all the way here like all the way down in the place where you see the hearts. That's where I'm staying and where most of the tourist spots are. So we are deep into local Venice. So when you go to work, do you also use a boat to get to the gondola? A boat or yeah. uh, by walker yeah. or with a water bus. Oh, what? The fact that everyone uses a water bus like I did <laughs> earlier today is so freaking cool. I love that. So obviously Tommaso is not an Italian grandmother, he's a man, <laughs> no, but no. as a gondolier I felt like it couldn't get more local and more Venetian than that, so in all honesty, that counts, right? <laughs> that, I feel yeah. like that counts, right? The, the most Venetian one, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what this entire challenge is about, guys. It's about getting out of your comfort zone, meeting new people, connecting with locals, and if I were here all by myself, 
without this challenge, without you guys with me, then it would have never ended up here with Tommaso. This is a special tomato sauce for you, special pomodoro. <laughs> Do you have a knife so I can cut it? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's there, it's there. I'm not gonna insult you in your own home. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are good, Chris? Really good. Al dente? Al dente. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with the gondolier Thank career. Thank you very much. Keep so in touch, nice Chris. Nice Let's to meet you. Let's do it. I open it. <laughs> The light. Perfect. Thank you so much, man. Have a good evening. Ciao, please. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>shower i'm very tired right now i feel like my face is blushing a little bit the fact that tommy a local gandolier here in venice actually led me into his house and made me pasta just amazing so unique these type of experience definitely make this trip so special to me and i never really thought i would experience any of these things i also just received that boarding pass which means that my flight tomorrow morning leaves just after 9 a.m so again there will be an early morning and in case you're new here this isn't just a one-off video i'm taking the cheapest flight every single day for 14 days straight to see where i end up without knowing any of the destinations and also make sure to watch this next video right here on screen if you enjoyed this video thanks for watching